While you watch me paint this portrait of Natasha Leon in the series Poker Face, I thought I'd share some of my thoughts on art and inspiration. I used to think that artists had to be inspired in order to make art. That belief prevented me from making art for almost 10 years. There's this myth out there that inspiration is this magical and elusive thing, and if we're lucky, we'll have some kind of aha moment. Sometimes I wonder if it's an excuse I made to myself. I can't make art because I'm not inspired. But maybe I was afraid to try, or maybe I was too lazy. Picasso said, inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. And since I started making art again, this has been my experience. It isn't that there's some limit on the supply of inspiration. It's just that most of us have to work our way into it. What I've found over the last 15 years is that inspiration is a very minor part of my practice. I don't even think in terms of inspiration anymore. Sometimes I'll feel a pull towards a particular subject, but it's such a subtle feeling, I really have to be paying attention so I don't miss it. And this is why it's important to stay active in a creative process, so that when we do get some glimmer of inspiration, we're able to capture it. But inspiration is also kind of overrated. Having a regular art practice doesn't necessarily mean making art every day, but even when you aren't creating, your brain is. You find that you observe more. If you're a painter, maybe you look at things in terms of how you would paint them, or you see a pleasing color combination, or you notice the shape and color of a shadow. I believe that by having a creative practice, you'll start to realize that these little observations and middle of the night thoughts are enough. You don't have to wait for lightning bolt inspiration to sustain a life of making art.